Like me, you've probably browsed AliExpress or Amazon for a cheap SSD for one of your projects. With so many different options, how do you even pick the right SSD? Today, we're going to take a look at six different 128GB SATA SSD drives. All were less than $15 and will be put through their paces to see which one comes out on top. Billions Reservoir cost me $10.19, comes with a three-year warranty, and the case is made out of this beautiful green plastic. Yeah, so maybe I'm a little bit partial to green. Levin's our next drive. I picked this one up on Amazon for $14. It comes with a three year warranty and the case is made from metal. Kung Fu or Hua Disc came from AliExpress, cost a hair over 13 bucks and features a plastic case and a three year warranty. But check out this really cool guy doing Kung Fu on the front of the disc. Your friends, if you had any, would love it. Golden Fur arrived from AliExpress notably in an anti-static bag only. All of our other drives came in boxes. It cost $9.98 and was the cheapest drive out of the bunch and also features a three year warranty. Walrem is next and just look how dang this cute toucan is uh, or whatever kind of bird this is on the front of this. The drive came in two colors, red and blue as seen here. We went with blue because it was in stock at the time of purchase for $11.42. It also features a plastic case and a three-year warranty. Last but not least is a used Samsung 830 SSD I've had for a year or so. This drive came in a small PC I purchased last year. It's got limited rights, about one terabyte, and sells used on eBay for about $15 and came with a three-year warranty new. A full rundown of all the drives, purchase links, and their available details is linked below in the description. Now let's get into testing. Our testing setup includes three crystal disk mark runs on each drive when empty, then three runs with each drive 80% full. Our second test is a file copy script in Windows, copying from an NVMe to each SSD, 5,075 files, ranging from four kilobytes to two gigabytes, with a total folder size of 11.4 gigabytes. Keep in mind, I'm not a professional. I'm just some dude on YouTube. If you hate me and think this is all garbage, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let's quickly talk about the benchmark labels from Crystal Diskmark. The first is sequential one megabyte with a Q depth of eight and one thread. This result is generally your fastest and is what manufacturers use on the box or advertising material for their drives. Second is a sequential one megabyte with a Q depth of one. This is more realistic for your everyday working. Next, we get into the random 4K reads and writes, which display how fast the drive can access small files in random locations. These 4K reads and writes are worst case scenario for these drives and typical of a machine booting and operating system. If you're primarily working with large files, you'll want to choose a drive that's a good sequential performer. If you work with smaller files, a drive with better 4K reads and writes will be better suited for your workflow. Now into our results for drive reads. For sequential read performance, at a Q depth of 8, our Kung Fu drive didn't knock out any of the other contenders. It only kicked itself in the face with an abysmal read speed of 465 megabytes a second. At the top of the chart was the Billions Reservoir drive with an average of 559 megabytes per second. Second place goes to Walrim at 549 megabytes per second. Moving into sequential reads with a Q depth of 1, Billions again takes the performance crown with Samsung and Walrim drives following very closely for a second place, both with 520 megabytes per second. And again, no surprise that Kung Fu fell on its face. You'll see this is a recurring theme for the Kung Fu drive. With random 4K writes with the 32Q depth, Samsung takes the crown with 284 megabytes per second. Golden Fur rounds out the last place with 86 megabytes per second. Random 4K reads with a single Q depth bringing most of these drives to their knees, this is where Levin takes the crown with 39 megabytes per second. Next, we filled the drives to 80% full and ran our tests again. I wasn't expecting to see a big difference in overall performance, but man, was I wrong. In our sequential tests, most of the drives were down only just a few hundredths of a percent. But moving into random 4K reads, our Golden Fur and Kung Fu drives have markedly larger performance deltas. The Golden Fur struggles with sequential reads with nearly an 11% performance decrease, 
random 4K reads at a th Q depth of 32. This drive has a 17% performance reduction and 4K with a Q depth of one. This drive has a 14% reduction in overall performance. To nobody's surprise, Kung Fu Drive performed the worst of the bunch with a staggering minus 35% performance delta for random 4K reads with a 32 Q depth and rounding out at negative or my, sorry, minus 28% in 4Q with 1Q depth. Our overall winner for the read test is Billion Reservoir. The loser, Kung Fu. Any of these results surprise anyone? Moving now into our write benchmarks. Billion Reservoir takes the crown again in sequential writes with 477 megabytes per second. Levin is a close runner up at 472 megabytes per second. Surprisingly, our Samsung SSD came in last place for every single one of these write benchmarks. Sequential writes with a Q depth of one show the Walram drive as our winner at 452 megabytes per second. The Walram also takes the crown with random 4K writes at a Q depth of 32 and one. Filling the drives to 80% and testing the write speeds doesn't show the same large deltas that we had in our read benchmarks. The Walram was our only drive to have what I consider a large delta in write performance within sequential writes with a Q depth of one, which saw a 12% delta in performance. The Billions drive takes the crown in sequential writes with 477 megabytes per second at a Q depth of eight, 437 megabytes per second with a Q depth of one. The Levin drive leading 4K random writes at a 32 Q depth with 230 megabytes per second and billions with the win for 4K random with a one Q depth with 89 megabytes per second. Most of our drives were fairly close here with the exception of the Samsung drive. The last test we ran was a simple Windows batch file to copy a large folder containing 5,075 files between four kilobytes and two gigabytes in size with a total folder size of around 11.4 gigabytes. The transfer was ran three times. The results were averaged for each drive. The Billion Reservoir drive again takes the lead on this test, which isn't a surprise as the drive seems to be an overall performer for sequential and random 4K rides. I'll be honest, I thought for sure that the Samsung drive would smoke these other drives, but I'm pleasantly surprised with all the all around performance of the Billion's Reservoir drive. I mean, what's not to love about the bright green case? I just think they're neat. I don't think you can really go wrong with any of these drives, with the exception of the Golden Fur and Kung Fu drives, both of which displayed less than stellar performance, especially when 80% full. This isn't a comprehensive review, and your mileage may vary. One piece we didn't touch on here is service. If a drive fails, what's the service experience like? I really trust Samsung to get me a new drive if it dies within warranty, but is the process the same for our other drive manufacturers? Many of these companies we've never even heard of before. Probably something to consider if you're purchasing drives in mass quantities or more expensive drives. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.